Righto. Uh, for Zach, he's been playing soccer. Um, he's really not very good at soccer. Um, and someone's kicked the crap out of him. He has a fractured tip, tip fib, a little bit of a jelly leg. What I would normally do is cut and cut and just pull this right out of the way. We're not going to do that to Zach today. All right. Now, we're going to pop on a leg splint. We've given him, um, we've done, gone through, done all our assessments. He's got a heap of pain relief on board. He's quite happy at the moment. Uh, the screaming has stopped. We need to pop his leg into a splint. Now, this is a Ferno leg, uh, long leg box splint. Um, this has been well, well used. Um, you'll see different versions of this around the place. That's what they look like flat. This is one that we've prepared earlier. Um, and basically what we would do with this is this is going to sit right in and this is going to splint his leg the whole way along. So, that's made up ready to go. Grab a trauma pad. These are normally the best things for this. But if you don't have um, enough or a trauma pad big enough, maybe even a blanket or something, just to provide a little bit of relief because this part um, is going to hurt. This is where we actually lift his leg up and pop his leg in and then it sits in and needs to bed into this shape a little bit. So, again, I would normally have a partner at this stage who would be holding above and below the fracture. Okay, so you're just going to have to imagine that partner at the moment. Imagine they're a bit better looking than me. So I've got my partner up and basically what I've done, they've got the leg up and I just slide that in there. And that's now in place. Easy. You now need five bandages. One, that's the ankle strap. And the rest of them, triangle bandages, pull them out and just have them in half. So that one's going there. That one's going there. And then I've got two more triangular bandages which I've placed in a very safe position over on my stretcher. I'm coming back. Oh, no. So just pulling them out of the packaging and just leave them in half. As said such, that one will go above the knee. And this one will go right up the top. Now, when we do this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift um, the box pin up and pull these bandages through. And then when we tie stuff off, we're going to go above the fracture and below the fracture first. Um, then we're going to tie our ankle strap in and then we're going to do the top part of the leg as well after that. So, to start off with, again, I would have someone else to help me here. Um, I actually want this down underneath. So I'm going to lift the box up, about that there. Pulling these through. And dropping it back down again in the nicest possible way. So you can see some of it's actually pulling apart. Right, let's come around so you can see over the top of the course. Then, come around this side if you get mate. There's the fracture site there. I'm going to go above first. So what I do is I pull this this through, put it on that side of the loop, and then pull this side through, put it on the other side of the loop, pull them in, and just tighten up. Same again. This into to there. This into to there, and just tighten it. Okay. They'll get tightened again. That's not the end place. They'll get tightened again. That's why I haven't tied them off yet. So this, just around over the top and then tie it at the bottom. And then back here. So his knee's right there. So I'll probably put this right on top of his knee. Again, through that side. That side and pull again. Pull 
to the back side and pull. Now that I've got everything in place, make sure that I have a pedal pulse. Tickle his foot if you want to make him jump and scream, but we won't do that. Everything's in good. Squeeze his toes. Yes, I have the right perfusion. So I'm down now going to go back above the knee first. Tighten that and then tie it off. Bottom, tighten that, tie it off. Tighten and tie it off and tighten and tie it off. Check again because we've moved it. Make sure he's, it's reasonably straight and he's in good spirits. He's not screaming in agony or anything like that. That's a box splint done. Hey!